Hey guys, how's it going? And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install the serial version of Quantum Espresso on Ubuntu. That is basically Linux. So in order to install Quantum Espresso, what you need to do is you need to download it. So just head over to the homepage of Quantum Espresso, that is quantum-espresso.org. And as you can notice here, the most recent version of Quantum Espresso is 6.4.1. So just head over to the download section. And if you scroll down a little bit, then you will notice that they offer these binary packages um, I'm sorry the source packages that is on these two links that is the github link as well as the GitLab link however you can also download the binary package by um, heading over to this website that is advanced software corp etc and maybe some more links are here for the binary packages however I wouldn't recommend to do so because uh, when you download the source packages you have the added um, advantage of you know having um, you you know you can modify the source files and then compile it for your particular PC using the libraries that you want and thereby giving you, you an edge over the binary packages and most of the time the bi binary packages for Linux uh, if you download a pre-compiled binary package then that may not even work as I found with the case of the binary packages provided by advanced software core Anywho, so just head over to either of these links and <coughs> sorry, and you can notice that the recent version of Quantum Espresso that is 6.4.1 here on the GitHub page, and then head over to the download section, or you can download it from the GitLab page by just you know heading over to here. And for Linux, you would better you'd be better off by downloading the tar.gz. Um, file however I'll just go ahead and um, download it from this page that is github and this one so QE 6.4.1 release package .tgz. so just click on that and save it on your PC okay so the download is finally finished now you might have noticed that I'm using a Windows PC right now so how is this tutorial about a Linux installation well don't worry because I'll be I'm just using it to download the package because I was having trouble with my Mozilla Firefox browser on my Ubuntu virtual environment so um, I just headed over to Windows to download it so anywho just uh, I'll just go ahead and copy it to my Linux environment okay so here it is so here is the file that I just copied so here is the 6.4.1 version so just right click on it and extract it by clicking on extract here however you can also use a terminal command which you can see on your screen right now so here it is and also um, you should extract it wherever you want it to be installed because that is exactly the location where it will be installed so I just wanted to install it in my home directory so I just extracted it here and then go ahead and open it and then you have QE 6.4.1 and here you can see all the files um, belonging to the Quantum Espresso package. So now you will need to open the terminal and um, head over to this directory where you have these um, Quantum Espresso files. So I just um, installed them on, in my home directory. So they are uh, here. So I'll just change my directory to that. And then you can see that uh, all these files are over here. So I'm in the right directory. And then you need to run dot slash configure so just go ahead and click on enter now what this command does is it basically um, looks at your system and tries to find out all the files that um, were there and tries to see um, what kind of installation it should perform which libraries or which software it should use and as you can see here that I got an error that is um, there is no Fortran compiler in my uh, system so I need to install that before I can continue installing Quantum Espresso so that is the need of the dot slash configure command it basically detects the system settings so in order to um, install Quantum Espresso I'm sorry Fortran what you need to do is you need to enter sudo apt um, get in, install um, Fortran I guess and then hit enter password and then just wait for it to install okay um, maybe I should try G Fortran here um, Fortran wasn't found um, suggested packages alright so I guess this would be um, 
correct so just say yes and wait for it to download and install okay so now that Fortran is installed we are ready to run the configure command again and wait to see what happens okay so this time you get a success message and it also states um, uh, it has not been able to detect a parallel environment but that is okay because um, in this tutorial I'll just be showing you a basic installation so we are only going to install the serial version so the next thing what you need to do to install the serial version is just run the command make and the name of the um, quantum espresso um, package that you want to install so I'm not sure if package is the right word but um, what I mean to say is you know quantum espresso comes with a variety of functionalities so there is a PW um, this one so there is a PW package that can be used to perform SCF calculations and SCF calculations and even band structure and density of states calculations then you can um, perform a variety of more calculations using the post-processing tools um, and all that you know this is a newer um, version of quantum espresso so it has an HP package which is I believe for Hubbard corrections or something like that and all that and phonon calculations etc so what you need to do is you need to write um, make PW so what that will do is it will create a binary um, in a folder called bin so right now there is no folder called bin here however when once I run this command it will create a bin um, folder called bin and that would be a pw.x binary which can be used to run quantum espresso input files regarding SCF calculations and similarly if you want to install all the functionalities of quantum espresso at once then you should better just um, give the command make all however we'll just give the command make pw for the sake of this tutorial right now and let me uh, uh, also tell you that it would take um, pretty long time so I just run the command and I guess it will take Mm, around five to ten minutes but I'm not really sure so I'll just pause the tutorial or maybe I'll just fast fast forward it so uh, just wait for it to install right now okay so the compilation is finally complete and um, if everything went well um, if you head over to the bin folder then you'll notice a number of .x files so these are the binary executable files that have been compiled on your own PC using the system settings on your particular system so now you have the uh, pw.x file that we wanted so now in order to check um, whether this installation was um, accurate or basically working or not so we'll just run a quick um, sample calculation so um, I'll provide a link to a QE sample input files um, such as this it would be a .zip file so you'll have to extract it however so in this um, directory what you will have is you will have a zero potential that is basically needed to perform any quantum espresso input file I'm sorry input calculation and um, then there are two input files one is for the geometry optimization that is opt dot in ops dot in and another is scf dot in which is basically useful for performing an scf calculation which basically returns the um, zero point energy the magnetic state um, the um, energy eigenvalues etc homolumo gap all that kind of stuff so um, i won't be explaining what these input files are about or how they are made in particular in this tutorial because I have already made separate tutorials for that how to create these input files however for the sake of um, you know checking your installation what you can do is you can just straight away download this um, from the link in the description down below and then just uh, run using the commands that I now tell you so in order to run this input file what you will need to do is you'll need to head over to the terminal and you'll need to head over to this particular directory which contains the input file so just um, go back to your home directory and then cd qe 
and now we are in the directory that contains all the input files as well as the pseudo potential and um, if you uh, you know read the input file and you can notice that the uh, pseudo potential is mentioned here the name of the pseudo potential however now we also need to provide the correct lo location for the pseudo potential so here what i'll just do is i'll put a dot because the pseudo potential is in the same directory as the input file so the scf dot in um, input directory has this pseudo potential also so i'll just put dot and i'll create one more um directory that is useful for the storage of the temporary input files so here is that so now in order to run the calculation it's all pretty basic what you need to do is you'll need to um, enter the address of the pw.x binary that you just compiled in the previous step so in order to get that what we can do is we can quickly head over to the directory where we install quantum espresso and head over to bin and then just drag and drop um, pw.x here to get its address so you will have the address of the pw.x um, binary or the executable and you will have it within single quotes so that is really important and then you'll write down the name of the input file within triangular brackets so that would be scf.in within triangular brackets and then the name of the output file so let's just call it scf.out and then hit enter so now as you can notice that the calculation is going on so if we head over to the directory which had the input file scf.in then you'll notice now there is a file called scf.out so if you just open that then you'll notice that there's now text in it and it provides some useful information such as which version of quantum espresso is running when did the job start how to cite quantum espresso which version of quantum espresso is running so in this tutorial um, i'm showing you how to run the serial version so that is it then it it started reading the input then the dimensions of the um, you know uh, atomic species the uh, k points etc the name of the um, pseudo potential that is being used and then other information that it read from the input files such as the Bravais lattice, lattice parameters, etc, etc. The um, lattice factors, the reciprocal axis and all that stuff. And here you can notice um, the K points uh, which at which uh, you know the energies are going to be evaluated. And then how, um, how much RAM is going to be used per dynamical um, per process. So since it is a serial uh, version, so there's a single process, so only a hundred gig um, megabytes of RAM is being used, and then the SCF iterations. So till now, three iterations have been done. However, um, if we head on to the terminal, what we can notice is that uh, the calculation is now complete, and if we just reload this um, page, and if we head over to the end of the file um, hold on a second so if we head over to the end of the file then you can notice um, something like um, end of self consistent SCF calculation it took about 43.8 seconds and then the um, energy values for a particular K point so for this K point um, we have these um, energy values for different bands and then for spin down and you can also notice um, the total magnetization that is 4.67 um, Bose magnetron per unit cell which comes at about 2.2 or uh, 2.3 um, Bohr magnetron per atom of FE I guess since there are only two atoms in this unit cell and then the forces as well as the stress so and it, in the end you will see how much time <coughs> and there will be a message like job done and this job was terminated at this time and if you come back to the terminal um, we are also getting a warning sign which I haven't really got before but that is also because I haven't really used the 6.4.1 version before till now I've been only using 6.2 so I'm not really sure what um, this means however the calculation uh, completed perfectly fine so that is basically it um, that is how you perform uh, you know a compilation slash installation of quantum espresso on your pc however now till now um, we have only installed the pw package so in order to install the um, complete um, 
quantum espresso packages and you will have to give the command make all when you are in the directory where you you know unzipped or extracted quantum espresso so you will just give the command make all however um, it will take a lot of time around 30 minutes i guess at the least and however if you have a powerful pc then that could be really um short so and I've also shown you guys how to perform some sample calculations. I'll also leave the links to these sample calculations as well as the download links in the description down below and any other information that I think you'll find useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to install Quantum Espresso in parallel on a Linux slash Ubuntu PC. That's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.